Penelope. That's incredible. That was my second attempt of carving. Oh, that's incredible. And I worked at that for two or three months. The first time he come up, I had it varnished. Shall I know it was varnished? It's a natural finish. He come up and looked at it. Nope. He said, you've got to sand that all down and paint it. And he said, I want it painted a flat white. Well, I did. Everything had to be done by hand then. No, I never had no uh, electric sanders or anything. So I sanded it all down by hand and went and got a quarter flat white paint and painted it. Next time he come up and seen it, well, I said, if you don't take it now, I burn wood in the house. But I started out making a man. <coughs> and I had it all pretty well finished like a man. And he looked at it and he said, that's too cute a face onto it to be a man. You've got to make a woman out of it. I said, how in hell can I make a woman out of something I'd like that now? He said, you'll figure it out. So I took a bunch of roofing nails, inch and a half roofing nails with shingle nails, a big head, and I nailed them all around where the was supposed to go and the same on this side and then I got some polyfill polyfill dries fast and sawdust well then I started mixing polyfill and sawdust stirring it up then when I got it mixed up good I'd grab a handful and I'd slop it on over the nails and in around the nails and so on so it would stay there and I'd done the same with both I am looking pretty good. But when Chris come up, too big. I said, too big? Yeah, he said, any more than the handful is a waste. And he says, you've got a lot of waste there. <laughs> so then I had to rasp and file and get them all down so they suited them. And it was after that when I varnished it. After he got the after I got the okay that it was mm -hmm. that the breast was satisfactory, mm -hmm. and I figured he'd be taking it after I had it varnished, but then I had to do it all over again to mm -hmm. to paint it white. 